Hey guys, it's Patriotic Truth. I have a very important video I want to put together here. It has to do with the Illuminati and their num numbers and symbolism. Okay, so just bear with me here. I want to try to go through this uh, as clearly as, uh, and concise and as quick as possible, okay? Um, first of all, let's look at some Illuminati numbers. Now, this is a very important video. I, mean, you, I know you've heard of the Illuminati and their numbers and symbolism before, but just follow me along here, and I'm going to go along, and I'm going to talk to you about something that has to do with Georgia Guidestones, it has to do with the events of 911, which we're all familiar with, of course. And it has to do with uh, the movie Contagion. Uh, are they all tied together and is something planned? Well, I may have just uncovered a possible plan. I say may, because nothing's etched in stone here. I don't know. This, this group are so secretive, they could pull out, pull out of their plans. Um, and also, is there something planned for the London Olympics? Which I don't know. But let me just go through here. Bear with me here. 11 and 13 and 3 are three very prominent numbers of the Illuminati. Okay, 33 is a, uh, <clears throat> um, a uh, Freemason number, one of the high-ranking Freemason numbers. Um, but all their numbers are clearly 3, 7, 9, 11, 13, 33, and 39. Okay, so, and, and of course we all can... can, can can relate 911 with the events of 911. We can also relate 911 with the with the move with the date that the movie Contagion came out on 9911. Now keep that in mind, okay? Because there's a lot of number symbolism connecting the movie Contagion, the time that the U.S. mutated the bird flu, the Georgia Guidestones, the events of 911. Um, all of them are interrelated here regarding numbers, and it's just too coincidental to be just a coincidence in my opinion. So I need you to spread this video, re-upload this, make it your own video, whatever you want to do. You have my full authority to do it and get it out there to people because I think we all need to know. Okay, this group, the Illuminati, I'll loosely call them, are very Satanistic. All they want to do is kill, they want to maim, and they, and they want to bring about this new world order. And it's coming extremely close, guys. Okay, and uh, part of triggering, triggering World War III is part of their plan. Okay, uh, releasing a bioterrorism attack against us is very, very possible. So let's look again at these numbers. 3, 7, 9, 11, 13, 33, 39. Keep, remember those numbers, especially 3, 13, 11, and 9, and 33. 3, 9, 11, 13, 33. I'm not going to talk so much about 9 or about 39. I'm going to talk about 3, 9, 11, 13, 33, which are all Illuminati numbers. Okay, so let's also bring up um, this other th image I want to show you real quick. And it has to do with, okay, here you got the Georgia Guidestones. We all know what they look like. We've all seen them on TV and Jesse Ventura show. Now, the Georgia Guidestones came out, or they were erected and built on March 22nd. And that was the groundbreaking ceremony or whatever. March 22nd, 1980. You can look it up yourself. March 1980. Now the month, 3, 1980, okay? And we all know what one of the clear, one of the commandments on the top of the guidestones say. One of the number ones is maintain humanity under five, 500 million, I think that is, in perpetual balance with nature, okay? So I want you to be very aware of this and this because I'm going to show you a big connection with what might be to come, okay? Um, so let's minimize that. <clears throat> Let's go to, have you guys ever heard of this? The scenario for the future of technology and international development, the Rockefeller Foundation, GBN Global Business Network. Okay, it says a member of the Monitor Group or whatever, but I want to go ahead, here's more proof that this is an accurate uh, report. It was put together by, in May 2010, this report was produced by the Rockefeller Foundation and Global Business Network. Okay, so I'm going to jump ahead there's an index. I'm going to jump ahead to page 18 here, so bear with me. Let me get down to page 18. And here we go. Scenario narratives. Now this will be very eye-opening if you've never seen this before. In 2012, the pandemic that the world had been anticipating for years finally hit. This is their scenario back in 2010. In 2012, the pandemic that the world had been anticipating for years finally hit. Unlike the 2009 H1N1, this new influenza strain originating from the wild geese was extremely vir virulent and deadly. 
Even the most pandemic prepared nations were quickly overwhelmed when the virus streaked around the world, infecting nearly 20% of the global population and killing 8 million in just seven months. Are you reading this? Killing 8 million right there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but 8 million in just seven months. I'll put the link to this article. You can read it yourself. The majority of them healthy young adults. The pandemic also had a deadly effect on economics, international mobility of both people and goods screeched to a halt, debilitating industries like ter- tourism and breaking global supply chains. Even locally, normally bustling shops and office buildings sat empty for months, devoid of both employees and customers. A member here, folks. The pandemic of 2012 will kill 8 million people. Okay, and it also clearly talks about in this article, I forget what page it's on, but it talks about how that there was a major earthquake uh, that wiped out some 40,000 people and that there was a uh, 13,000 people dead in the London Olympics. This is their scenario, that this is going to, that they plan on killing 13,000 people during the London Olympics. Okay? along with the 2012 pandemic. And that scenario I just told you about the London Olympics 13,000 dying, it's all in this report. I think it's up a little further, but I'm not going to waste time looking for it, but it's definitely here because I read it. Okay, so I want you to be very aware of that. Now let's go back to a scenario here. Um, Let's go to Wikipedia real quick. I want you to look right here. Construction on One World Trade Center 1, which is the North Tower, began on August 1968, okay, just, or September 6, 1968, okay, so now we're going to jump back over to the pictures here real quick, to Georgia Guidestones, now I'm going to throw some scenarios at you, some numbers at you, March 2013 of next year, if you go back 33 years, it takes you to March 1980, groundbreaking ceremony, month and date of the Georgia Guidestones, so you go up from March 1980 to March 2013, 33 years. Again, the Freemason number, 33 years. Okay? So I'm not done here with you yet. Now if you go, well that's the, let me get back to these pictures again real quick. Okay? Now of course they need to maintain humanity at that level. Clear as day, right there. Okay? right on the Georgia Guidestones. And one way to do it is to create a pandemic in 2012 to kill 8 million people, wipe out 13,000 during the London Olympics. They need to do this. And my guess is that between now and March of 2013, which I think is their deadline to do this, I believe that this is going to happen between now and March of 2013, with March 2013, guys, being their cutoff date that they must complete this by. Okay, because now if you go back, let me minimize this again. You go back to the World Trade Centers, which I just talked about. I'm sorry if I'm skipping around a little bit. Okay, you go up to the World Trade Centers. You see the World Trade Centers. You go back 33 years from September 2001 to September uh, 1968. You got exactly 33 years. So let's look at this again. 33 years. And we all know what happened 33 years after 1968. Well, the World Trade Centers came crashing down to the ground 33 years later. Now, let's look at the Georgia Guidestones again. Here's the Georgia Guidestones. From March 1980 to March 2013 is 33 years. Are you following me here, what I'm saying? March 2013 being their cutoff day and month, or cutoff year, I should say, more specifically, is to when they need to start an, they need to have some type of an attack. Okay, if they're going to follow this with their number symbolism. Okay, now if April 1st comes around and nothing happens, great. Amen. God bless you all. Many of a hundred, millions of us are still alive. I'll be thankful. And, and I'm not going to be really wrong or right here because I'm throwing a theory at you, a scenario here at you. Because I don't know exactly what they have planned. But this is, I don't believe in coincidences. Do you believe that this is all just coincidence, a number coincidence? Those of you that want to call this crazy scenario, fine. Don't watch it. But this is more than just coincidence, in my opinion, folks. Okay. Now, the movie Contagion, I don't have a video of that right now or a picture of it, but we all know the movie Contagion. 
Look it up. It came out on September 9th, 2011. Okay, 9 9 are multiples of 3. Okay, 9 9 11. Three months later, multiple, there's that three multiple again. The U.S. Multi, uh, mutated the bird flu. It came out, it was made, made public, well, I believe, in December 2011. That's when I at least first became aware of it. I believe that that's when they at least became public in March or December 2011. Three months after 9 9 11. Now you go up 13 months, let's look at these numbers. 13 months, and it takes you right to March 2013. Again, March 2013 from, now I'm going from the December 2011 when they mutated the bird flu, when it maybe what, deliberately became public? There's number symbolism again, folks. This is how the Illuminati communicate with one another, with number symbolisms, okay? So, and, and then you look back, and I don't have the video, but I did a video on this. In, in uh, 2008, a bunch of um, Homeland Security experts, or whatever they were, announced publicly and you can search my videos for it, that they, um, if you want a link, let me know, I'll give it to you, that they um, said within the next five years there's going to be an attack against the U.S., they believe there's going to be an attack against the U.S. within the next five years. Now, five years from 2008 brings you up to 2013. Okay? Now, and they said it was most likely going to be a biological attack as opposed to a nuclear attack. Okay? So I'm on 11 and a half minutes here. I just wanted to get that video up to you. Is contagion, the Georgia Guidestones, 911 all connected with the number 33, the number 13, the number 11, and the number 3. They're right here. They're the Illuminati numbers. Now keep in mind, 911, nines are multiples of 3. Any number mul multi that's a multiple of 3 is an Illuminati number. It's 3. You can't use 6. You can use 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, so it's very clear. Now, those Rockefeller uh, report again, as I told you, on page 18, clearly talks about how a pandemic, right here, 2012 pandemic will kill 8 million people in just 7 months. 7 months. There's another Illuminati number, folks. 7. So keep in mind, folks, I believe a 2012 pandemic is coming. They didn't mutate the bird flu for nothing. And I believe this will be including... Or and or a London Olympic attack. So keep in mind, spread this video around. I may have just uncovered the Illuminati's next plan. Okay, within the next nine months. Okay, March 2013 being their cutoff day, month, year that they need to do this attack. Okay, so this is all just not hogwash. This is there's truth to this. All you got to do is look back in history. I'll have more. God bless you. Spread this video. Even if you don't believe it, spread it.